Hey, it's the end of our school week, and we're still sick. In fact, you're probably going to hear them sniffling, coughing. I will probably cough because that's what we're going through. Anyways, it's the end of week 32 for us. Um, I'm definitely struggling because we should be done by the end of April. And now, granted, I say we're done with our, like, official school year. We will be doing stuff year-round. Not a complete full course, but some. But I've kind of begun planning and thinking about next year like crazy. And in the meantime, I have a ton of stuff going on. So I have been shopping. I have been shopping and beginning some of my back to school, whatever. I don't know what to call it. The thing is I need. But okay, so I'm going to show you the things I have. That's what I'm going to show you. So it's like a haul, but it's not a haul. And the stuff we've got going on. I'm so excited about this. All right. This is Mardell's A Simple Plan. I've had it before. I've done videos in the past. They've never been this pretty. In fact, my old one, let me get it. Looks like this. Um, is that a specialty cover? No, it's just me being completely recovering. And so I made this cover to go on top of the Mardell. And I think they really did a good job. I actually skipped it last year or the year before. I don't know. I haven't had one in a while, but I heard the reviews about how good the quality was and how pretty it was. So I'm like, I miss doing it using this one. And a lot of times I go back and photocopy some of those pages just to reuse them. My favorite thing, anybody who's used Mardell will understand I want you to know these pages here are not as dark as they used to be. And I really like how thin it is. It makes it easier to write in pencil in years past. I'll show you the difference. And I did tell you I was still sick, right? Like, don't expect much from here because I am still sick. But you can see, um, maybe you can in the lighting, you can kind of see the difference. All right, that much grayscale change makes a huge difference. So I'm excited about that. I've been writing my dates in. Um, we're figuring everything out with CC for next year. We are definitely going to continue that in many capacities. There's a lot of things that are kind of up in the air, but I think that's normal with communities because people are moving. Like Communities are not static. They change. The kids participating change, the parents change, people move on, people move in, people move away, and so we're waiting for all that balance going on. Okay, so what we're working on this week, um, remember last week I told you I didn't know if I wanted to do the Ebeka um, video school. I mean, I have gone around and around and around, and in the meantime, I ordered the K-5 curriculum from christianbook.com and and then I'm like I knew it was coming and I wasn't sure if I was going to send it back or not so here it is this is not like a review or anything this is just my stuff isn't this cute I found this in the craft department for $13 which I used to keep them all the time for scrapbooking I intended to use it to keep all my stuff together like my pens but it's really working great for Orville because I'll show you here you know we have his book set, these are our cards, the readers, um, the mini alphabets, and then I have the big book here, a little folder, completed work, you know, pens. We can just, we can kind of keep this stuff in there. And I'm like, ooh, this works really good. And then I've been, I got him a new box of crayons because his box was wore out. And then I just put everything in here, just a pencil, crayons, crayon box. So I almost sent it back. I did. I almost sent it back. I got this book with it, the teacher's lesson plans. Well, that was a great $50 to spend. So I spent the $50 because I'm like, hey, you know, I can tell me what to teach him, what to say, which I already had that. It showed up. I had already showed him the videos from a back and he's like, 
I don't want to listen to you. I just want to watch the videos. And I'm kind of like, okay. So we sit here and we watch videos together. We do about a lesson and a half a day. It'll probably go down to a lesson. Um, it's very accomplishable for him. You know, it's a little bit below where he's at, but that's okay. They start off slow anyways. I'm not going to push it because I know it will go faster. And this has worked out really well. At first, I bought the 10 hours of flex video time. And really, after the first day, I realized, okay, I might as well buy the tuition. And I went ahead and ordered the tuition. I got the tuition, and I'll probably do a full review why I did that. But I wanted the book that tells me just check off list what we're doing instead of this mammoth book. And when I did that, I got K4 for Leona because she is trying to hijack his work. And I know I've had people say, like, you could just do K5 for both of them. I agree with you that say that. But there's also that competitive spirit between the two of them. And it's worth my sanity to put her in K4 and buy the separate curriculum for her versus him having a constant <laughs> attitude that, you know, he feels, you know, that kind of... I don't know how to put it into words, but that kind of sense of, I want to build that confidence in him. I don't want him to feel deterred because his little sister is doing the same curriculum as him. So it worked out okay. All right, so other things that are going on. Um, I did finally take a plunge. We use, you're going to see them, they're using them. Well, she's got hers, her um, Google Chrome. We use the Google Chromes a lot. There's one over there. And we're working on doing poster boards right now. So they're working for county events. 4-H does county events in its uh, illustrated talk. And we use the big poster boards to make ours. Let me tell you, if we did slides or PowerPoint, it'd be so much faster and easier. We don't because I want my kids to develop those skills before they go into PowerPoint. Katie will be high school next year and I will happily let her do slides next year or electronic, but until then she can't do electronic. Mm -mm. So the pain in the butt part is a lot of cutting and pasting. But what we run into is we only had two Google Chromes at my computer and we have too many kids needing it. So the other day I stopped in the store and I was like, we'll go get another Samsung Google Chrome. And it ended up being 180 which I didn't think was too bad. And it was on clearance from what it was before. So that worked out good. So I bought that. I told you it was a haul, right? All right. There's another thing I bought. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay, I know. You're like, well, what is this that you bought? I actually bought a font. I bought a font license. So I really like the Abeka fonts. I like the Abeka cursive. I always have, but then I feel like it moves so quickly. And I've noticed just giving real instruction to my son, the cursive is coming really easily. So I'm going to put the link below later on, like when I remember to do it. Um, I bought the font. It's a, I mean, it was $50 for this font license, but it works out really well. I want to show you things now. Oh, I know where I have it. Um, in my, excuse me for putting my face up in there like that. No, it's not there. Uh-oh, 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 oh, it's right over here. There we go. It's over here. So what um, I'm able to do is I can type up font. So you can't really see that. Um, what I did was I graded out so that it becomes more traceable instead of um, instead of it being um, I just threw a bunch of papers away making it more traceable instead of it just being dark lines and then I'm turning their spelling list their history sentences I'm going to do some of the challenge work also in this style it takes a little bit to do it it's not just type and go you have to type it and then you actually have to um clip it together fuse it together i don't know what they call it link it together link it together so you have to type it out and then you 
cut the word, you highlight the word, you cut it, you link it, and then you push this little link in the start menu, and you go back and you paste it. So it's a little bit labor intensive. It's a labor of love, I'm not gonna lie. But it gets me a two for one. I don't feel the need to get, um, they, they, my kids have been asking for spelling workbooks, or not workbooks, they've been asking for workbooks in worksheets. And so I feel like this will help out a lot because it will have that worksheet feel. Will it have the worksheet feel? She says, does it have the worksheet feel? She says it does. She's not saying anything, but she's doing this. That was that. Um, so it has that worksheet feel. And I'm not doing anything extravagant. I'm going to photocopy a couple of them. I'm going to print a couple of them for them to trace. The nice part is because it's grayed out, it won't take as much ink either. So those were some ideas that I've come up with. Um, still using the Spelling Plus Power. Don't forget about that video. I'll put that video at the end, the Spelling Plus Power video that I did about the spelling curriculum. Um, so I'm kind of coming up with it and brainstorming, and this is where I end up in like a little bit too much to do. I have a lot of things coming up in the next two weeks, and I'm trying to plan out August, which that's probably not the best use. Of. Will you quit kicking the t table? Every day, quit kicking the table. Stop, you're making the whole thing go like that. Do you want me to film your face? No. Okay. So yeah, right now, um, I'm going to show you this effort. She has her computer. These are some old slides from years ago. Let me find my favorite one that Lottie did. Like, she did parts of the citrus tree. So we kind of set those up like a five paragraph essay. And we do a slide for like each paragraph. And, oh, I want to show you. I can't show you. Doing the fun, I just do it in Word and then I print it up. So she's printing them out to be the right size, and then she cuts them, you know. We have our little scrapbook paper, our glue, and just getting our getting our craftiness on. So that's what has been happening this week. Um, I just sit and watch School with Orville, and, and that seems to help out a lot. It helps me then remember some of the chants because I'm not trying to take it all in. I'm just kind of absorbing so then I can kind of pour it back onto him and that works so good. Um, I look forward to Leona's coming and I'm going, I know, he's sleeping in the door. I'm hoping, um, I'm doing it, I'm going to do it through the, um, the live, or not the live stream, streaming off the devices because I feel like that would be easier than one less thing that I have to remember to mail back. I hate this stuff I have to mail back. No, thank you. So I like it that way and then I figured I'll probably do one and then the other. Like I'll probably start, we've been still doing the delayed schooling, which means they have way more energy to get through the day or the content of what we're working on. So that's been good because we've been starting school later. And so I figured probably not next week. Next week's going to be crazy. Um, the week after that, we will start our K-4. So I'm starting my K-5. I started last week or this week. K-5 curriculum. And we'll be doing, for my two little ones, I will be doing that through the whole summer. We will actually start their content now, which is really not typical. Typically, I will be like our start dates here and then I get myself all worked up and stressed out that I have to have everything ready. We have to be like full charge and then nothing. And then we do nothing and then it starts up again. Now it's just kind of layering. It's like, okay, this child kind of weaves in, everybody's weaving in together. Is that normal for you? Is If you have several kids, do you wait until, or do you feel like you can't start a new curriculum or do you just start a new curriculum and finish it I say that because I'm great for starting curriculum and not finishing it, or we're gonna start in the middle of the year this new curriculum, let's start something new and still not finish it. But do you just like, do you feel like you have to go along the um, school calendar in order to 
when you begin and start a curriculum, start and stop a curriculum, or are you kind of like, I just started, I found it in March, we started in March, and we finish it when we finish it. Um, do you keep things going through the summer? Um, I'm curious, because we do math, we always have done math, and I feel like math and spelling, okay, math and handwriting and reading are really important. I've got to make sure we stay up on. Oh, oh, mm. And tell me if you want to hear more about this. I wish I could video my um, homeschool mom book club. Listen, the, I learned so much there. I learned so much there, and a lot of times I'm more veteran than they are. But they've got some amazing ideas. And we're like, just like, we all bring our little playbook of plans, ideas, and methods of homeschooling. And we all like literally share pages out of our playbook with each other. And one of them, and I feel so blessed because one of our members, she is a, um, she has a master's in English. She taught high school English. I think she could have taught college English. And we've talked back and forth and she's really got me opening up to electronics. And in the electronics, using the Google, no, the Amazon Kindle with Audible and putting them together and just like letting it go like that can be enough to consume and get that better reading comprehension so I've been setting that up with my son on his Amazon fire we bought the little Amazon fires are like 50 60 bucks and we've been pairing those up to help him get through his reading to help that fluency to happen and I honestly feel like that's cheating and as I listen, I'm still I'm still doing mom school with Andrew Poudwa with the IEW Structures and Styles um, DVDs. And it's funny because I'll tell my son, I'm like, oh, mom's got to finish her mom school and then we'll do your school on the DVDs or on the, on the video school. But, you know, it's like you cannot model enough. You cannot, or you cannot model too much. Um, just model, model, model. And then I'm like, you know, Having him do the audios with the Kindle books is fine. It'll work out fine. So anyways, those are like the things that are going on this week. Tell me what you think. Leave me some comments down below. Um, give me some questions or answer my questions. It helps me a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And again, you know, there's the video for the spelling. And I'll talk to you later. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. We can do it. I'll see you later. Love you.